Hi everybody, I'm Councillor Angela Vithoukas, an elected councillor with the City of Sydney. Now there's a very important deadline coming up and that's the 28th of June, and that's for small businesses to be registered to vote come the elections in September on Saturday the 4th. I'm gonna show you how easy that whole process is. And at the end of the screen share, uh, there's also gonna be my details so that if you have any issues, you can contact me and I can make sure that you get registered so you can vote because small business deserves to have a voice on the City of Sydney Council. Now I'm gonna share screen now. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, in order to register to vote, you need to go to the City of Sydney website. Now the address is there. I'm just gonna hide some meeting controls here. The address is there at the top of the bar, cityofsydney.newsouthwales.gov.au elections non-residential register. It'll bring you to this page. Now, as you scroll through, if you have any questions, if you just have a quick look all the way through it, if you, it'll give you lots and lots of information, might be too much information, but there's lots of information there about the non-residents uh, ability to get on the roll to register and vote in September. Now you're a non-resident uh, in one of three ways. So the next page that I'm gonna take you to is the eligibility criteria. So besides residents who live in the city of Sydney and voting at a council election, within the city of Sydney, three types of non-residents have the ability to vote. That is as a property owner. And if you do the drop down menu, it'll tell you what that means. In simple terms, if you have an investment property, whether it's residential or commercial, you have the ability as a rate payer to be on the roll to vote. You don't have to live within the city of Sydney to be a rate paying non-resident voter. So if you've got a residential property or a commercial property, that's an investment, you're already on the roll to vote in September, even if you don't live within the city of Sydney. The other two ways is if you occupy a property or you're a rate paying lessee. Now occupy a property uh, means that you pay more than $4,000 a year in rent. And that could be again, residential or commercial. If you're a rate paying lessee, then you lease the property and you pay rates indirectly through your rent. And the only criteria there, again, if you do the drop down menu, it'll tell you the criteria for that one and that one. And the main criteria is that you are an Australian citizen, so you can vote, that you pay more than $4,000 a year in rent, and that you have an agreement in place in order to be an occupier or a rate paying lessee. Now, the simple part there is there's either an online form or a form you can download and complete and upload back to the city. The online form is really simple. And that's within, this is the actual online form and that's within the property occupier. So you scroll down and you can see there that there's an online form and it'll take you straight to this. Now it is very, very simple. As you scroll through, you'll have a look, you just decide whether you're an individual or a corporation and depending on that. So if you're an individual, you get a different screen. If you're a corporation, again, you get a different screen again and just go through fill out all those details and submit. You'll get a receipt from the council with a, a receipt number and you can always follow it up, but they will get back to you and confirm that you are indeed on the roll as a non-residential voter. So come September, you have the ability to vote. Now, I'm going to just jump to another screen and show you just some details. Okay, so don't forget, the deadline for this registration is the 28th of June. It's for the City of Sydney Council elections, and that's on Saturday, the 4th of September. I'm Angela Vithoukas. Remember, when you are on the roll to vote, vote one, the Small Business Party. If you need any help about this registration process or another problem that you might have, please feel free to call me directly. My number's on the screen. I hope to speak to you soon. And remember, Saturday, 4th of September, don't forget to vote. Thanks.